Welcome to Tessera's Nerf Room. Today we're going to be reviewing this Straven build, which is not mine, this belongs to Phase 1 Foam as well, just like the Swordfish. If you saw the Swordfish video, you'll know that that blaster is absolutely amazing, and so is this one for completely different reasons. This blaster is just super ridiculously cool, so let's just get started with the design like I do any other review. First of all, in case you're thinking this is just a regular hybrid between a Strife and a Raven, I'll tell you it's very different than that. And don't worry, we're gonna address all that later. But first, let's just start off with the design. It's, it's pretty much what you think it is. The front is a Strife, the back is a Raven, and they've been merged at the grip. And this paint job is just absolutely fantastic, even though there are inconsistencies because of the way it was painted. You can see that there is some bubbling. But if anything, it just gives it a lot of personality, which I can definitely respect. I think that the idea of blending the Strife and the Raven together should have just been done from the start, because come on, this was a match made... Blinded. I mean, like, merging the two blasters together, I think it was no, a match no, made no, in no, heaven. No, 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 They don't blend. You don't blend a blaster. You don't blend a blaster. Okay. No, it's, so, just no. A, it's just a figure of speech. No, okay, so when a Strife and a, a Raven love each other very, very much. Wait, this is family-friendly well, content. They, they decided... No, 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 no. Okay, so, so basically, this is, this is a blaster that takes the front of Strife... But as I was saying, the design is pretty cool. If we move to the ergonomics, well, this is an attachment point, as you just saw. It's not held on very well because of just the way that end strike attachment rails are held on, but it works well enough, and it is a pretty comfy place to put your front hand if a little bit small. The main grip is a regular elite grip. It's very nice, and the Raven stock is just... Yes, the ergo on this is perfect. I really like holding this thing. I mean, it could be a little bit better, but that's just because Nerf designed these. At the same time, though, Nerf designed it pretty well. It's not bad. It's pretty good. But hold on, we can't get to the functionality just yet. We have to talk about the extra details that this thing has that you wouldn't see on either the Strife or the Raven. First of all, this particular build features a voltmeter, which looks super cool. I can't get enough of the way that looks, and I desperately want to put one on my Strife, but that is a mod for the future. I will get to that someday, but for right now, let's just not worry about it. This blaster is also running on a 2S LiPo, which is hidden back here in the Raven stock, and is using this modified six dart magazine to hold it in place. It's a pretty cool system. I feel like it could be done a little bit better, but there is a reason why it's like this. You you get over here. You have to explain it now. Yep. What happened? So this is on me. This does fall on me. The lipo was actually internalized or uh, stored internally back in here. There's a there's enough space to fit a pretty large lipo battery. Um, I left it plugged in, and uh, the battery started to puff up. I went to relocate some stuff and moving parts in the blaster one day. And you found the death. I found the, uh, a 2S puffed up lipo, immediately disconnected it and, you know, disposed of it properly. Lipos are a very serious thing and should not be taken as a joke. It's not funny when you find a lipo that's been puffed up and anything like that. Because yeah. it can, it can explode, it can cause a lithium fire and it can you know, then put toxic fumes into the air. So the battery was changed, and unfortunately yeah. that removed the ability to use this back mag, mag well as an actual mag holder. But it doesn't really that matter that much. It still works, it still does its job, and it does an alright job. But that's pretty much it. Aside from, if you notice really closely, there's a little switch right here. Oh hell yeah. That's cool. And I really like the idea of putting LEDs in a blaster. I feel like every blaster needs to have some form of LEDs in it now, even if it's just like the basic of basic things. Like just, it's little details like that. Little details add up and you end up appreciating them a lot over time because when the blasters that you have don't have those details, you feel like they're just not worth as much. But anyways, how does this thing work? Well, it's a fully automatic magazine fed blaster. You put your magazine in, you use this to rev it up and you pull the trigger like this. And it shoots absurdly fat. Wrong size. Fixed it. Use it. Hell yeah! That will never not be fun. I don't care who anybody watching this video is, that is way too much fun. And then to remove the magazine, you have a paddle mag release right here, which is actually big enough to where you can press it with your middle finger or your ring finger, which is cool because sometimes you just end up using the wrong finger. And yeah, you'll want to use big magazines with this thing because it just obliterates mags in seconds. The 22 mag lasted like four seconds because of how fast this thing shot. It's just 
complete insanity. And with that said, I think it's time for the firing demo. So I packed a couple extra magazines that we can do on the firing demo, which I'm going to start right about now. It's impossible not to do that. So, the straightening is amazing. <laughs> and I really want to get one of these, but I'm not going to count on it anytime soon because this is one expenso blaster to get your hands on. Plus the fact that it's not a, it's not a blaster that you can buy. This is something you have to have made custom. There's no such thing as a strife and a raven already stuck together. You have to custom build that. So the price is already going to be really high, plus the fact that it FaZe has a worker full auto kit built into it, which is why it runs so absurdly fast. And so like this plus all of the internals plus just this fantastic paint job. Yeah, getting something like this would be an investment and a half, but honestly, one worth investing in. This blaster is so, so cool. I can't get enough out of it. Everything about it is cool. Everything about it is fun. This is the Straven. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>